Alright guys, so I was, I was thinking recently, I haven't heard much about Josh Warrington since he won the IBF world title. So I just wanted to talk about what's next for him in his career and where he'll go next. So the most I thought the most likely fight next would be his mandatory, uh, Luis Alberto Lopez. Uh, the guy that uh, brutalised uh, Isaac Lowe. But uh, that guy now has a fight against a journeyman scheduled, an eight-rounder. Um, L- Bernardo Lopez is a good fighter. It's a dangerous fight for Josh. Um, he should come through it. Uh, but, yeah, he, he, he can he can punch, he can box. Um, obviously, if, if you want to watch him, just watch his fight against Isaac Lowe. Um, he scored three knockdowns in that fight. So, um, I thought that was probably going to be the next fight for Josh, but he, he's got a fight against journeyman scheduled, so clearly he doesn't expect to get the fight next. Um, another option would be Maurizio Lara. Now, obviously, Josh Warrington has had two fights against Lara. Um, he lost the first one by knockout, um, where he was underprepared and he didn't take Lara seriously. Um, in the second fight, there was a technical draw. Now, in that second fight, most people thought Josh um, head-butted his way out because he felt the power or whatever. I disagree. I don't think he head-butted on purpose. Um, it wouldn't really make sense for him to do that, um, seeing, that you know, seeing as though he did it in the second round where it would go, it would go to a technical draw anyway. Surely if he intended to head-butt his way out, he would have done it from you know rounds four on when he would have got the decision. But I digress. Um, so that the, obviously the Lara uh, third fight is a very good option. Um, he needs to clear that up. Um, he needs to clear his name, and it's a winnable fight for him. If he if he takes Lara seriously um, and he boxes well, he could he could school Lara. I've said it for a long time. He could beat Lara. Lara's he's a basic pressure fighter with power. He's just one of these come forward brawlers, really, with a lot of power. And Josh Warrington at his best beats that guy. Um, so that's another option. Um, I don't think that's really a likely option. Um, I'm not sure if we'll ever see that fight, to be honest, but maybe. Because, you know, it's, it's not exactly like Lara is the best fighter on the planet or anything. I think Josh knows at his best he could beat him. Um, the third option. Um, obviously, Ray Vargas and, you know, the Filipino guy, Mike Sayo, who beat Gary Russell, are going to be fighting for the WBC title. And the winner of that fight, I don't know who, who will win. I haven't really seen enough of both guys. But uh, that's another option for Josh, if he wants to become the unified champion. Um, I remember watching Ray Vargas um, versus Gavin McDonnell. And I don't know if he's... Um, improved since then, but you know, if it's the same fight from back then, Josh could definitely beat him. Um, Mike Sayo, I remember watching his fight against Gary Russell. Um, he, he's he's okay. He, he's not he's nothing, you know, special really. Um, and I think Josh could probably beat him. He, he's got quite a good counter left hook. I'll give him that. But I think Josh could beat that guy. Um, Another option, obviously you've got guys like Navarrete and all, but I think Navarrete's got a title defence scheduled. Um, so I don't know where where Josh will go next. Um, he's got a lot of options on the table. Um, obviously, uh, it, his mandatory was the most likely option, but he's got a fight scheduled at the moment. Um, obviously, the final option and probably the most attractive option is Lee Wood. So Lee Wood, obviously is the WBA regular title holder. Um, he's trying to get upgraded to the WBA super title. Um, for some reason, Leo Santa Cruz has that title, even though he hasn't fought a featherweight for years. It doesn't even, it doesn't make any sense, but in my opinion, the WBA should just strip uh, Santa Cruz and just give Lee Wood the belt. It'll make things a lot easier. But um, whatever happens with that situation, um, either he fights Lee Wood after he gets upgraded, or he fights the Wood versus Santa Cruz winner. That's a good fight. I've wanted to see Warrington versus Santa Cruz for years. Um, obviously, it would have been better with Santa Cruz in his prime, but uh, it's still a good fight. And Warrington versus Lee Wood, that's the biggest fight in British, British boxing at the moment, probably. 
Um, it's probably the best fight as well. Um, and yes, yeah, I think Warrington would win that fight clearly. I don't think it's as competitive as people think, but uh, he's still a good fight. And Lee Wood obviously has a puncher's chance. He's obviously a very good come forward pressure fight to hit. You know, he's a good body puncher and he's got a lot of power. So yeah, um, I'm, I don't know where Josh will go next. Maybe he'll take an optional defence in his next fight. But uh, yeah, thanks for watching guys and God bless.